But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left, because this is not a right-wing problem. This only is a left-wing problem. This is a left-wing problem. This is radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man? Listen, who the fact is that everything he's saying so far is simply a lie. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you I agree. just want to make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, 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 both candidates engaged in name calling while interrupting each other, and the president often openly ignored the ground rules that his campaign had agreed to. The debate commission says it's going to add additional structure to the next debate to ensure a more orderly discussion of issues. Well, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are offering their assessments of the debate, particularly on the matter of President Trump's refusal to clearly condemn white supremacy groups. It was unacceptable not to condemn white supremacists. And so I do so in the strongest possible way. Uh, I think he misspoke. I think he should correct it. If he doesn't correct it, I guess he didn't misspeak. It was not a Lincoln-Douglas debate, that's for sure. <laughs> Last night, President Trump delivered one of the most disgraceful performances at a presidential debate that anyone has ever seen. But on Twitter, a different story. The president continued to insist he had scored a knockout and called it a great evening. Meanwhile, the debate has also drawn swift reactions from many political leaders right here in Illinois. WGN's Tanya Francisco joins us live with that reaction. Tanya? Yeah, last night's free-for-all is being condemned by local faith leaders, not just for what was said, but for what wasn't. Less than 24 hours after being asked to publicly denounce white supremacist groups during the debate. Proud Proud boys, boys, stand back and stand by. President Trump claimed not to know anything about them. I don't know who Proud Boys are, but whoever they are, they have to stand down, let law enforcement do their work. Moral leaders must speak out today. Reaction from a Democratic-leaning group of pastors and community leaders was unapologetic and clear. This president has forfeited his right to lead the country with his refusal to condemn white supremacy. Vote this racist out. One-time presidential candidate Reverend Jesse Jackson called the debate an international embarrassment and implored voters not to let it become a voter suppression tool. Last night we saw bullying, ranting, raging, temper tantrums as a version. A diversion from the ballot box, according to Reverend Jackson. He and others are calling for voters to make their feelings known by casting their ballots early. We want as many people to vote early as possible so they won't be in long lines. This is the most important election in the history of these United States. We cannot just have him lose. He has to lose by a landslide. Reverend Jackson will be leading a caravan of people to the ballot box tomorrow to early vote. They will be leaving from Rainbow Push headquarters at 1130 and heading to the super site at State or at Clark and Lake Street.